Rod Wave been named the world done new for years. But lately, he been in some trouble with the whole internet. What could he have done that made everybody so mad? Let's find out. Rod Wave been in a lot of controversy over the last few years, and one of the most notable was back when he got arrested for getting into it with his girlfriend at the time. So boom, out of nowhere one day, Rod Mugshot came out. And people was like, what did he do? What could he done? And what they were saying he did was crazy. Basically, they were saying he tried to choke his baby mama out. She was in the room sleeping and Rod just came in there snapping. He was going crazy, choking her out while she sleep. Mad, I'm talking about, he was knocking everything off the shelves, off the wall, pictures breaking everything. And they said he did all that because he was thinking she was going through his phone. But the thing that made the whole situation worse was they kids was at the house at the same time he was doing all that. Imagine what they was thinking. But 12 came. And book, bro. Put him on 5K bail for a minute. That was it. He really wasn't in no controversy for real till about August this year. He got into something with Money Bag, yo. But not Rod Wave himself. Rod Wave dad got into it with Money Bag, yo. I don't gotta sit here and floss about what my boy doing. If I wanna post my shit on the internet and tell my warn these man, that's what the I'm gonna do. Cause any disrespect his daddy should have enough sense to say you know what where your old boy at? man that was my bag money bag you should have been told my son you apologize for being disrespectful to his daddy the wrong with you like you want to shoot me you all off in your car with your hand on your gun like you want to shoot me for asking you for a lighter yeah that was me you want to you then you, you you get in your car when you see i ain't running and you, you, you fat goons hop out in the car like I'm out all them up, man. All you want to run to your guns. Want to run to your guns, a bunch of here. Line it up one on one. All this gun play. Anybody can do that. Anybody. I asked this for a lighter at the post oak. Blood up. I asked this for a lighter. This look at me and ask me. What the you just asked me? You a nigga who what? You ask me for what? These supposed to be screeches and a regular can't even ask you. You just left the streets when he was asking you for dime rocks, 20 bags of weed, yay yo. You a street that shouldn't bother you for another nigga to ask you for no lighter. And you blow the whole spot up on some bullshit. Like you wanna fight and get all spotted with me at the post open. And then turn around and get me kicked the got the huh? So yeah, I'ma always say, yeah, watch that. Watch them all. Watch them all. Son, you in your prime. You hear me? You in your prime. They did the same Machiavelli. I seen it. They did the same the biggest smalls. I seen it. All that over a lighter. And to be honest, I'm not even surprised because the way these rappers be moving today. The thing is though, Rod and Money Bad, yo, ain't never had no problems to the public. It seemed like they was cool. They even had songs out together. But after this, Rod just couldn't stop being in the media. A few months back, he was moving real bad. He was out with a girl and he ain't know she was on live. And so he walked in there being all loving, trying to hug up on her. Then he looked, he like, you on live? And so bro just started. Panic. And when this came out, the internet was on fire. Everybody questioned this situation, trying to really figure out what's going on. And the main thing people was saying was, how do you ride wave, get on the mic, and sing all this sad talking? You so heartbroken. Yeah. Bitches do you so bad. You the one out here doing the cheating. But after he was getting all this backlash, it was only a matter of time before he came out responding. And when he did, he ain't hold back. This fame stuff lame. But these square blood niggas even worse. Anybody can say your name how they want. And the blood site just gonna spread it to the world and people believe it. it's not fair. Don't even care who y'all hurt with all that. I never say nothing back to y'all. But y'all went too far with the cheating stuff. Lie after lie after lie, bro. And I feel like since I don't ever say nothing, y'all just get away with it. And Rob was sitting back out of this probably thinking like, this it. This is gonna be the last time they bringing my name up in the meeting. Till not too long ago rod dropped this album nostalgia that was even good it's a really good album i like it. and the album might have sold good and was loved by a lot of his fans but it came with a problem a problem boosie would have with this album or more specifically the song long journey it was a lot when they just doing what boosie do talking and someone asked him a question about how he felt about the broadway song long journey and boosie was like he didn't get my permission for this and he was mad and like this wasn't just one bar or lyric. I'm talking about the majority of the song is just him using boosty lyrics word for word. Well, Ride Wave ain't the only one. The 
Y'all better do y'all research. Ride Wave ain't the only one. A lot of them got paper on, paperwork on the way. A lot of people, bro. It ain't just Ride Wave. And it's crazy because all of them name it the same song. Nah, ain't in my feeling. I'm smiling. Ain't in my feeling. I ain't mad. I love when they do that. I ain't mad. When I hear people then took my shit and sang my shit and put it on records, I be they giving me my flowers, you know. I be liking that shit when I hear it. It's just you got you gotta compensate me too. This is a business, you know. And after this, he had the whole internet just come out the situation. Every side of the internet was coming at Boosie and Rod. Some people felt like Boosie was right. Some people felt like Boosie was just being petty. But he didn't care. Boosie ain't care about none of that. He took to the internet saying what he had to. How was it foul? It's business and y'all know that. You ain't gonna do that to no other major label without compensation. Why do it to a nigga you looked up to without compensating them what they split? So you expect me to let you take my kids publishing? Get out of here, stop playing the victim. You go sample No Limit, Bad Boy Cash Money. So did Michael Jackson, Marvin Gaye, our Prince word for word for free? No. Then on top of all of that, Boosie was already mad because something like this happened before this wasn't even the first time he got mad at the artist for using his songs about a month ago he came out coming at young blue for this same thing young blue can you do the right thing and get me my millions that was taken from me? you know i was messed over big time why don't you want to pay me but after this boosie was your own line coming at rod wave and it was only a matter of time before rod himself would respond man they got to stop man man you ain't got to sue no like me man i'm gonna pull up you talking about suing me? I hope that's what he said. Hey, bro, I'll pull up on you, bro. Tell me a number. Tell me a real number, though. <coughs> I don't care a real number. Pull up and make sure you Internet going crazy again. Everybody talking about the situation and people wondering what's finna happen to Rod Wade. Because Boosie do seem like the type of nigga to really take him to court. But where the problems will really come is from the internet, not just Boosie. Boosie sparked up a whole conversation people never really had about Rod Wade before. He sampled and used lyrics from other songs a lot. I'm talking about niggas made a whole eight minute comp of songs he done took from over the years. Eight minutes of stealing is crazy. But in the middle of the whole internet just cooking, bro, Boosie came on IG previewing a diss track against Rod Wade. And this started to get it, bro. This started to get in his mind to a point where he was mad and hopped on IG telling the world how he felt. I f all that I say, I said to myself, that like I stole some How do you bring up all these lyrics like I stole some You dumb bitch. If it's public, it's public record. How the f I stole it? I ain't stole no some shit like a bitch was trying to come up with some shit and I stole they What the fuck is you talking about, man? It's your lame, stupid What you talking about, man? I'm talking about a fat. I got this tatted on me, man. What the fuck is you talking about? What the fuck is you talking about, man? You been listening to this shit since a little boy. This is a little teenager. You gonna live, live in my house. You gonna stand it on this shit. That's how powerful, that's how powerful a nigga was looking up to these rappers and shit. You are, if you a young nigga watching them, think about your favorite rapper, right? 10 years from now, you f around it, overly f with them, and they just spit in your face like, you. Not, 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 not what I'm going through, and then, what I'm just saying is, man, that happened, you know how many times that happened to me in this rap game, dog? Niggas that I was, like, that I looked up to. Like, my, you feel me? I was looking, praising over five, six different niggas, nigga, they all f with me. You feel me? Like, I swear, dog, that's why I got my dog tatted on me. You the only nigga can't break my heart in this shit. Cause bro done passed away. Everybody else I look, why you think I'm why you think I'm so good at music, bro? Cause I love the shit, you feel me? I love music, I love all kind of music. So I throw the shit in my music, you know what I'm saying? I interpret this shit. Why the fuck you think I'm so good at this shit? Cause I grow up praising music, bro. Any 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 anything I ever said in my song, I repeated in my song on my mama nigga they got paid. As fat people, uh, fucking Paramore, Drake gave me the okay, but I did a little shit from this song. Anybody, anything I ever did, I got the okay. And then somebody, they gonna sue me. They don't even own the They don't even own the right to the song. Y'all already gonna got okay. What the fuck you talking about, man? I'm blaming the fuck. I need some attention, dog. I swear that shit, that's crazy. It's oh, never want no extra attention, bro. I be chilling. Drop my music, stay the fuck out of the way. How the fuck, how the fuck y'all just be want extra attention? I don't understand that shit.
what do y'all think though? Because if you listen to what Rod just said, he said he got the song cleared and was just trying to pay homage to Boosie. But Boosie ain't take it like that. Then on top of all that, if Rod is saying he got the song cleared, don't necessarily mean Boosie would know that. Because if Rod went through Boosie label to sample the song, then most of the time they're not gonna talk to the artists themselves. So maybe Rod did get the song cleared and Boosie just didn't know about it. But at this point, none of that matter because Rod was still mad. He hopped on Twitter, still talking crazy. You hoes don't even be messing with me, speaking on me. Mind your business. I ain't never stole five platinum albums. Find you a hobby. Just because you don't know about the original song don't mean I stole it. You don't. The way I look at this situation is if they're going to do Rod like this, they might as well do everybody like this. I mean, everybody in the game sample music 24-7. A lot of people take lyrics from other songs and use them in their own way. But at the same time, I really think they coming in Rod like this because he really do just be taking a lot of lyrics. I'm talking about whole hooks, verses, everything. What do y'all think though? Is all the hate he getting justified or people are her guess? Because if he got permission, it is what it is. Me personally, I'm going to still turn that Rod away when I get in the car. Unlike a rapper from my other video who turned the entire industry against her. I'm talking about she was constantly constantly in the news beefing with people that the whole world just got tired of and I discovered what really happened to her in the vid on screen right now.